Hi guys, uh, today let's uh, look at the uh, link code uh, problem number four, arguably number two. Uh, actually, this question is really interesting. It's about the uh, arguably number. So first thing first is that what is uh, arguably number? So the definition is like this. Arguably number is the number that only have factors two, three, and five. So we need to design an algorithm to uh, find the nth arguably number. The first 10 arguably number are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12. So this is all go uh, by definition and we get the, uh, the arguably numbers. And for example, if we uh, our input is 9, we need to find the uh, nice arguably number. And because we have this one, uh, then we realize that 10 is the uh, nice arguably number. So this is what this uh, you know problem is gonna do. Um, so how to do it? Uh, first things first, we need to uh, think of uh, you know uh, what kind of data structure is gonna help us to do this. Um, <clears throat> what kind of data structure weapon we're gonna use? Because we have so many weapons, and we're gonna choose one from them. So uh, let's look at this uh, purpose of this algorithm. We need to find n's regular number, and what does this n's mean? Actually. We know that argument numbers has to uh, you know uh, be sorted in the uh, ascending orders, and we need to find the n's. And we only need to find n's. We don't need to care about like n plus ones, n plus twos. So what kind of data structure can help us to do this? Actually, you know, we immediately can think of uh, one data structure, which is the heap. Heap just the you know is the best one to help us to do this. We we build up a uh, small heap, and every time when we pop uh, when we pop up the uh, elements from the heap, we we can get the uh, smallest one. If we continue popping up the elements from the heap for n times, and n time we're gonna just get the uh, uh, n argument number what we need. So then problem will solve. So this is number one thing. We figure out uh, what kind of data structure we're gonna use, and the second thing is that uh, we need to write a function that uh, we generate the argument numbers, and we put these argument numbers into the uh, heap. So this is the uh, second core part. Question: How we're gonna do it, and how to generate the argument numbers? Actually, it's not uh, that hard. Um, you know, we just go back to the definitions. Argument number is a number that only have factors 2, 3, and 5. And we also know that if a number is a arguably number and we multiply by uh, 2, 3, and 5, uh, and this number is still the arguably number. That's how we generate the arguably numbers. So let's look at the, the right side. Uh, this is my notes. I'm going to just show you how we generate the arguably numbers. At first, we have 1 because uh, it says that uh, one is typically treated as, a, as an arguably number. So we put one here, and based on one, we multiply by two, three, and five. We get uh, three arguably numbers, three more, uh, which is two, three, and five. All right, and also based on two, I just multiply, you know, two, three, and five, um, and I will get uh, four, six, and ten. So this is the new arguably numbers generated by two. And also, for this argument number 3, I multiply by 2, 3, and 5, I got 6, 9, and 15. This is the argument, uh, argument number generated by 3. And same thing, I have 10, 15, 25. This is how I generate the argument numbers. I first generate argument numbers, and based on this argument number, I can generate more. So it's going to just be an endless uh, process. And we realize that there are some uh, duplicates. You know, uh, like 10 is here, and 10 is here, 15 is here, and 15 is here. So when we generate arguably argue numbers, when we put this arguably number into the uh, heap, and we have to do a check, if the arguably number is already in the heap, we're going to just skip. So this is our um, analysis part. And OK, so now let's just uh, uh, work on the uh, solutions on the right side. I'm going to just uh, format this a little bit. So this is our entrance, n's arguably number. We take the parameter n, 
And we first we're gonna just do the parameter checking if n less equals to one, we just return n. And second, we're gonna just have a uh, list of uh, factors because by the definition, two, three, and five uh, is the arguing numbers. Uh, you know, uh, this it's their uh, characteristics. So we uh, put the two, three, and five uh, in the factor list. And also we create a hip, and uh, we know that uh, you know. 2, 3, and 5 itself is the uh, argument numbers. So the heap actually is, we just assign this, uh, these factors to this heap. And also we we also know that 1 is also a argument number. So plus uh, 1, this is the uh, list of operations uh, in Python. So it's very simple. So heap, right now, it is just the uh, list. And now we just import the heap Q, which is the uh, heap, uh, you know, heap library. And the heap Q has the method called heap P5. We can make this a list or array uh, as a heap. Uh, the storage uh, we we use the array. Um, also, uh, all right. So next is the uh, the core part. So while our n greater than one, and we're gonna just generate. Uh, we're, we're first we get the uh, argument number. We pop it, we pop it out from the heap. We can get the uh, smallest uh, argument number. And for this argument number, we're going to just loop through the uh, factors and we multiply by these uh, factors. And we get the uh, a new argument number. And we, we're going to check if this new argument number not in the heap. And we're going to just push this guy into the heap. We use heap dot, uh, heap q dot heap push. Uh, where do we push? We, uh, we, we push to uh, this list. And we push uh, this uh, number, and once this is got done, and we're gonna just do uh, n minus one. Why? Why are we gonna do that? Because we only care about the n's arguing number. So, um, so we just do it uh, for n's. So once it is done, and for um, for the return part, we just uh, do the return hip q dot hip pop, and uh, the one popped out from the hip is going to be our argument number. Um, so, yeah, so this is our problem. Uh, this is how we resolve it. Because, you know, every time we go inside this wall, we're going to do a heap pop. We just continue to do uh, pop uh, for n minus 1, and we return uh, another pop, and we get our uh, result. So let's see uh, how it goes. Running looks like fine. Okay, so it worked. Yeah, thanks. Uh, this is today's uh, algorithm. Thanks.